This is a project that we took on. Uh, a designer had contacted us. They were looking for paint finishes. Uh, we've worked with this client before in the past, but this is our second project for them. And uh, so it, basically this is like a remodel. Um, they redid some of the trim. It looks like they took out some of the old cabinets. What we have back here is all brand new cabinet boxes. Um, all the cabinet boxes have been finished on site. Uh, all the doors and drawers that you see missing, those we took back to our shop and we do those, they get an in-shop spray finish. Are they done already? Yeah, those are complete. They're actually sitting there just carrying away, waiting for us to finish the on-site work so we can bring them back and install them. Everybody. All right, tell me what you did in here. So here we are, this is the, uh, the main bedroom uh, of the house and um, in here basically Full paint job. Um, it was the ceiling was through drywall, so we had to do a little patch in there, a little skim coating. But um, the nice thing I think I like what they did in this room is the ceiling is actually the only different color. The ceiling is cloud white, and the trim the walls are actually the same color. It's aesthetic white, but there's a different finish. You got matte finish on the walls, and you have a satin finish on the uh, trim and built-ins. Again. Um, the built-ins here, uh, we painted the boxes in, in, uh, on site. All the doors and drawers again are at our shop. Yeah, we'll bring we'll come back yeah. after the after the electrician's been here. The final coverage thing will be last week. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Touch it up. Yep. Good job. All right. What do we got, so Mr. Nathan? Here we are in the uh, the main bed, the bathroom, and uh, you know, as I said before, you know, as painters working with other trades, we kind of get to a point where. We have to let them do their thing before we can finish our thing. So that's kind of where we are now on this project. Um, so there's going to be, I guess, some glass here. There'll be some little trim molding pieces that we'll have to paint when we return. Um, but the vanities, those were all sprayed in place. That's the iron ore color that we've seen in other areas of the house. Again, the, the, the doors for those were sprayed at our shop, and we'll return those when we return. Just a quick selection of the products that we used on this particular project. Bin primer is always our go-to because of its awesome adhesion and great sandability. Um, cabinet coat is one of our favorite finishes for trimming doors. Uh, we just love the finish it gives and the durability. On this particular project, we weren't able to get all the colors needed in the cabinet coat, so we went ahead and tried out the command for the first time, and we were super, super impressed with it. Uh, Promar ceiling paint, that's our go-to. Always like to use that when it's available. And Duration by Sherwin Williams, the matte finish is a really, really slick finish to have on walls when you're not looking for something too shiny, but you want to have some good durability. And caulking wise? Caulking, we always use, the, this, is, this is our go-to. I won't really use anything else. This is the Sherwin Williams 1050, dries quick, um, and it cleans up super, super nice with the pretty boy. This stuff in water is our go-to when using any caulking as well as cleaning our brushes. This was another uh, piece of equipment we picked up this year. Um, one of the things is we're always trying to make our work environment as healthy as possible and we're always trying to improve air quality. So uh, in the past we've just used air movers but this year we picked up this uh, Blue Dry Air Shield 550 and what this does is through here it sucks in any pollutants in the air or uh, dust and it filtrates it through a three, fil three part filter system. So we have one filter here and then this is actually a double carbon filter that the air travels through and then it discharges clean air. So one of the benefits of Command and one of the things I really liked about it was that it's sort of an all surface use product. Um, what really sold me on it was when my rep told me that it could also be used as a, a, a top coat on floors. So as you see here, we were able to use it for the newel post, the rail, the spindles, all the treads, risers, and stringers all the way down is all command.